Okay, so we've got our colors all set here in Zeppelin. We got Gandalf, Flamingo, Dark Liver. Hold, hold on, wait. What, what is Dark Liver? Oh my... Hey there, I'm Josh. I'm a developer advocate here at Zeppelin. And this video is for all you Tailwind users out there, or even if you're just Tailwind curious, we can show you how easy it is to get your colors from your Zeppelin style guide to CSS utility classes in your Tailwind configuration. So first we'll head over to extensions.zeppelin.io, which showcases all of Zeppelin's extensions built by the community, and we'll find the extension called Tailwind CSS Colors. We'll just click Add to Zeppelin and select the workspace and the projects you'd like to add it to. So extensions in Zeppelin are specific to each project and to each user. So if you work with any other team members that need to use this extension, they'll just have to follow these same steps to add it to their project too. So we've got our project in Zeppelin here and I'll click on some of these layers to see that we have a bunch of our colors already added to our style guide. Like from this button here, we've got Tulip or in this header area, we've got Flamingo. And I've got this screen built out using Tailwind as a little work in progress here. Uh, it's missing my colors like Flamingo and Tulip, but there's just some white text on the white background right here. Um, so it's just not fully styled yet. So let's head back to Zeppelin and get to the style guide for this project. So on the color here, I can see that I've got this arrow and we can just click on that to get directly to our style guide with all of our named colors. And we can see that the Tailwind CSS colors uh, extension here has created this nice object for our Tailwind config. And what's also cool about this extension is that if I were to use a naming convention on my colors that had weights applied, like the example from Tailwind's palette is, uh, is a great one. It has a ton of weighted colors. And if I wanted to do that to our project, so say this Gandalf was gray 100, and this purpley gray was gray 200, the extension will automatically nest those weights right here uh, for the format that the Tailwind uh, config expects. But since we're using some more fun names, I'll just change that back here. So we can copy this code now and get it into our Tailwind config and paste it into our theme. Now, once we save this and our app reloads, we've got our colors in place and that's using the generated class names from our config. So if we take a look at our button component, for example, we've got BG Tulip because in our config, we've declared that Tulip is going to be this color here. And that's what it's referencing. And that is it. So it's a short and sweet demo for you today. Be sure to check out more of our community built extensions at extensions.zeppelin.io. And you can also find the documentation there on building out your own extension to best fit your workflow. If you have any questions or just want to share what you're working on, Join us at our Discord community, linked in the description, and I will see you next time.